in this session we will learn how to include course objective in your moodle page so again log on to your moodle website so this is my moodle page i'm going to customize this topic block to course overview block so i'm going to design the course overview block in this manner here i was edited in such a way that the students can see my description directly when they enter into the website or when they enter into their site hall or course hall this is how i designed topic block to see the course objective in my personal web page so you can read these contents directly right so for that so i am making the same design here so before starting any type of designing you need to click this setup button you can see here you can see a setup button just click that setup button and select turn edit on so i am repeating if you want to edit your course home page first thing you need to do is select this turn editing on from the setup button available here so i am clicking this turn editing on then you can see the difference happened in the course page now you can see a pencil button appeared right here and there's a plus button and there you can see an add an activity or resource so for getting these settings you need to make turn editing on after completing the editing process you just click this turn editing off okay so first i am rename i am going to rename this topic one as course objective for that you just click this pencil button and type course objective then hit enter don't forget to hit enter then only the change will reflect in that topic block okay so it changed to course objective now i want to type something here if you want to type some descriptions the option is you can see an edit button here you just click that one and edit topic so if you want to type something you have to use this setting click edit and then click edit topic so you can see a window so this is an html box so this box is same if you want to type something this html box will appear you can see different options here and there's a button like this so this button is to show or hide advanced button if you click this one you can see additional buttons so i am writing course objective with course introduction if you if you want to change the font just select this one and click this and select heading large heading medium heading small so i am selecting heading medium so it will change the font size and if you want to use this b for bold i for italics then this is the ordered and unordered list and if you want to put some links such as www.youtube.com this is not a link this is just a text if you want to convert this text as a link so that the student when students click that link it will open in a new window for that you can use this option link options here right so if you put this link option and type www.youtube.com and select create link and then check this open in new window then only it will open in a new window then click this create link see the difference 
this is just a text but this is a link so when you click this one it will open in a new window so these are the different options available in text html editor so we can copy you can copy the content from some other word file so i am copying this one so you can paste the same here okay so i change that block to course objective block so if you want to put your photo here in this block so that the students can view your photos directly like this one here you can see my photo as course instructor the option is this one you can see insert or edit image just click that one here click browse repositories it will go to another side you know we use the same technique to upload our profile picture so use the same technique upload a file select your picture then upload this file the same process which we have done in edit profile settings here one thing you need to do is you have to put here description not necessary please tick this description not necessary and then scale your image size for this is 959 1185 size so i am just changed to 200 and it will auto scale if you type 200 it will auto scale so now it is good then save image you can see my photo there if you want to view the photo you can change the alignment by clicking or by selecting the photo and click this central alignment okay in this way you can include the course objectives you can design in many ways you desire then put save changes don't forget to complete the process with the save changes button if the editing was over click save changes here you can see the topic one block has been edited to include course objective details here you can see my photograph if you want to include a video in this course introduction block so click edit topic again then select this icon okay in previous case to insert photograph we use this icon if you want to insert audio or video file use this button click that one then type a video you are here so i am going to my channel and I am copying a link and paste here. So when you copy a link, please confirm the video has satisfied creative common license. So you can use videos or you can use other videos from some other sources, but please confirm that video is under creative common license. Then after inserting url click insert media then you can find the video appeared here if you don't want if you want to change the position delete that one and put cursor where you want to appear the video then do the same steps video then insert media now the video has appeared here save changes so you can see my course objective block it looks good right with some description with a photograph and with a video so in this way you can edit 
a topic block to include course objective details. Hope you understand how to add course objective in your Moodle course page. Thank you.